So here we are. This time we're using a different camera, aka a phone, because I realized that even though we have some really nice cameras, they're all like almost 10 years old, and yeah. modern phones have better cameras on them than 10 year old nice cameras. Yeah. Oh, by far. Yeah. So. I've been telling you this for years, but you don't listen to me. Bonk. <laughs> so. I see DV and HD. <laughs> oh, dude. This is some popcorn, too. No. I, I ate everything. Oh. I, I just oh. destroyed all my food. <clears throat> what? Oh, we, no. we went to a it's 620 gross. viewing of Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. And we saw Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, which yeah. is the sequel to Beetlejuice. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's called I Beetlejuice assume, Beetlejuice. I assume. And the third one will be called Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Beetlejuice. 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. They set it up. Just to refresh ourselves, Naomi and I watched the first one this morning. Because yeah. I haven't seen this since I was like five years old. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, so I've and seen you had, it. And you saw it. Okay. Like, I saw it at some point, like, a few years ago, just by myself. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. But I, I remember I remembered everything, but I don't remember when I watched it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Dave, when did you last see the original? Uh, within the last probably three to five years, yeah. yeah. Oh. It, was re it was recent. I was recent, mm -hmm. yeah. That How come? Watch it at Halloween with Dom, yeah. I think. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. We always watch horror movies. Yeah, yeah. So. It's not really a horror movie. Comedy me. horror is what it's, <laughs> it's labeled. Dark comedy. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's no, it, it's, world comedy. it's literally labeled comedy horror. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. That's yeah, like, yeah. Um, but Dev, you and I also would have watched the uh, cartoon show that, that came yes. out. Yeah, I never watched that. There was a cartoon show when we were kids. After that came out and that was on for two seasons, but that was back in the day when they had like. 40 episodes per season or yeah. something and like also it. it like it ran in syndication for years and years and years and years and years sure. so it was still playing on yeah. some TV stations like 10 years after it ran yeah mm -hmm. Lydia and Beetlejuice are actually friends in, in the context of that show yeah so yeah that I, show does not seem to be canon to this movie it does not seem it's to not. be it's not <laughs> okay so not. first movie real quick you have goth girl Lydia mm -hmm. her parents were like New York yuppies Yep. They move into a house that they that they buy out in the sticks in yep. some small town. The dad. The house is haunted by a couple that had recently died, and they get they get hand like a manual. Yeah, the manual is like, here's how yeah. you haunt your house. Yeah. yeah, here's how you be it's, a responsible it's, afterlife it's, adult. It's yeah, it's just a guide to being the, dead. Well. They went off that bridge, right? The yes, the, yeah, the covered did, yeah, bridge yeah. That, that they keep showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. well. What was interesting is that for this the second movie, um, it was like shot for shot the intro of the first movie. Yep, yep, yep. kind of cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously the same the same town in real life yeah. too, unless they just rebuilt the whole thing. I Might have, it. yeah. Well, I doubt it. I doubt. It. I think it, they just went back to the same town. The same town. Yeah. I'm just surprised the town wasn't more run down looking. <laughs> it looked pretty run down. Honestly, having seen the original this morning, yeah, it looked very run down looking compared to. Comparatively, okay. Yeah, it's yeah. like back in the '80s, and now it, that town looks way more run down looking. Fair enough. But yeah, what what happened was basically, um, in the first movie, there you see that covered red bridge, mm -hmm. um, person drives car. It was actually... It was um, anyone. It's Alec Baldwin. It was, yeah. It was, Alec Alec. Baldwin. it was Adam, I think. No. It was Alec. It was Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis playing the couple. Oh, okay. You can, you can quote me on that. Yeah. Okay, it's just, sure. he's that much younger, dude. No, I get it. I get it. It's just... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the reason that he was written out of this one is because he was fucking on trial yep. during yep. <laughs> during during the filming of this movie. Well, they also moved which on. Which I, I did a video they, on they on my channel. Yeah. They, yeah. Yeah, well, they also the characters moved on and well, to the they, great beyond. Okay, listen, listen. The reason that they did that is because they couldn't get the main guy back. Yeah, obviously, hundred percent. Because like they, they they wrote him out by just saying, "Oh, he moved on. We found a loophole." It's like, "Oh, that's a great way to hand just hand wave away." Anyway, first movie, they crash through the wall of the thing. Car flips upside down. I remember we were watching it. Uh, it was like nine a.m. We were watching it because we were having breakfast. Yeah, was, and I was like, "Coming out to that." Yeah, yeah. You woke up and you you can't you like you turn the corner and you're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> and we're just like in the living room, like watching. But anyway, so we're having breakfast and we're and we're watching this movie. And I said. I remember I saw them flip, and first of all, I was like, "It's it was so nice to see Hollywood do like an actual stunt, yeah, or like actual like like an animatronics or miniatures, or yeah." Yep. And then secondly, and then they get home, and then I'm like, "There's no way they survived that." <laughs> That's not true. No, no. You thought they survived. You thought they survived all the way up until it was very no, obvious no, no, they were no, dead. Hold on. I did think they survived that, yeah. but my reaction was literally that like me like saying in disbelief. I can't believe that they were tr are trying to make a joke out of this. Like it's so obvious yeah. that, like you know, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But you thought that they survived. So yeah, I didn't say no. that you didn't. I didn't say that I didn't. I said you that just I did. No, I rewind the tape. No, I said that I thought I, I, I knew that they. Hold on, I thought they survived. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
but I was like, there's no way they survived. Mm-hmm. Like, that, they, they would not have. Mm-hmm. And it turns out they didn't. Nope. And you were just, like, yeah, yeah. laughing the whole I time. Was, yes. <laughs> I I completely forgot the entire first movie. And then, you know, the, the, the plot of the first movie, um, it take, it's a very slow movie at the, at the start of it, at the first one. Because, like, you don't see Beetlejuice till halfway through the movie. Yeah. Yeah. He, doesn't, he doesn't show up till halfway through. Yeah. And it's all about just Lydia being, like, this depressed goth kid who's now, like, have, having to go live out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's trapped away from New, New York life. Her mom, uh, stepmom... Yeah, stepmom. Keep in mind, keep that in mind. Oh. It, it comes up later. And her dad are complete art world aficionado people. They're yep. very eccentric. Yep. Yep. Um, they're 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 showcasing the house as much as they can. They invite all their friends, like their weird designer guy. Yep. Mm-hmm. And and their f- friends mm-hmm. <laughs> from the art world mm-hmm. are all coming. Did Ortho make a cameo in the second movie? No, he did. No, he didn't. I think he might have died. I don't. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Good job, mom. Thanks, mom. <laughs> I, I don't lick my finger, so. Well, actually, speaking, <laughs> speaking yeah. of um, people who died, the guy who played the father in the first movie, he, he he also played um, the principal in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah, his name uh, was. Uh, that's oh god, jo- no, wait, Jones. Jones. It was. Was he dead? Jeffrey Jones. No, he got arrested for uh, for child porn and possibly diddling kids. Lovely. Oh, so so that's why he's not in this movie. Yeah, because like yeah, we'll all go. Okay, here, here's the thing. They very clearly have his character in the movie. Well, they have to. Yeah, no, they yeah, have they to. Have to. But, but in, in the second movie, but but they go to like great lengths to just not show him. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. They go, they, they, well, they, yeah. I was like, either he's dead or they couldn't get him for some reason. Yeah, yeah pictures and um, some form, some kind of art form. It was like it. a stop. Motion. It was claymation. It was stop motion, yeah. claymation, claymation, and then also, like, uh, and then also, um, yeah, the pictures of him, and then also when you see him in the afterlife, he got his head bit off. So he's, he's running around as like a fucking torso, torso. and, it's, and it's like as soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, clearly yeah. they couldn't get the actor back. Yeah, <laughs> for whatever reason. Oh, here we go. Hello. Here's why the dad's not a Beetlejuice. It's likely due to his status as a registered sex offender. In 2003, Jeffrey pleaded no contest to charges of possession of child pornography after he allegedly hired a 14-year-old boy to pose for lewd photographs. Cut. Done. Is he... Three uh, strikes, did, you're did, out, did, did, he, did he go to Did he go to prison? prison? I think he did. Hopefully. I don't know for how long. Hmm. You know how it works celebrities. They often yeah. find ways to put them on probation. Yep. Yep. And so... Jesus, even the... Beard, he, looks, he still looks fucking creepy. <laughs> he still looks he, creepy. He looks a bit pedophilic, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Dash. Is that like his Wikipedia? Or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so. Anyway. The first movie is very simple. Um, the, 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 ha- the, the ghost couple wants to kick these New York yuppies out of their nice old giant house. Mm-hmm. They, tried, they try to scare them. They can't scare them. In fact, Lydia... And is like for some reason can see ghosts, and then she's, she's like, because she's weird. She's weird. She's, 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 she's the goth kid. <laughs> yeah, so she like turns around, and she's like, "Listen, you've now failed at scaring my parents so much. They want to turn this house into a tra- an attraction, and they want to, you to just be like, yeah, be an art a, installation. Yeah, an art installation. So they decide to um, hire Beetlejuice, who in the afterlife is someone who is a professional scare, and he will bio exorcist, a bio exorcist, yeah. and then so Beetlejuice shows up. And then um, hijinks and shoot and sue in the second half of the movie, and then basically Beetlejuice wants to marry Lydia, mm-hmm. the the fucking so, teenage yeah. girl, yeah. the teenage girl. Well, well, because he of, is a, he's a ghost, it doesn't matter. Listen, yeah, he pedophile ghosts are more acceptable free. than pedophile humans. I disagree. <laughs> no pedophile is acceptable. He, he doesn't want to fuck her. He wants to be free. He wants to be free. He wants to be, he free, wants to be free, free to to be chaotic as much yeah. as he wants. And it requires him getting a human bride. So. Yeah. And I don't know why he doesn't go for... Well, I guess... Anyone only, else. <laughs> yeah, literally you can just go and find... I guess because she's the only single female on the premises. Maybe. Yeah. Even though there wasn't there another... There's another woman, though, that was... Oh, no. Time. It's probably because she can see him. Oh, yeah. The only way is she legally binding him. is if it's someone that's actually a, a spirit medium. Maybe. Uh, then they so, throw that out. But, like, she's, like, I think 15 in the first yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah, and then they... And then they, you know, they go through hijinks. Eventually they manage to banish Beetlejuice back to the afterlife. And then the, the first movie ends with Lydia being parented by both the ghost parents and her actual parents. Um, ghost couple. Her, well, ghost her couple. biological mom who's, like, never shown. Never shows up, yeah. Yeah, ever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there's that TV series in between where Beetlejuice and Lydia are fi- they're friends. They're friends and they, and they go on adventures. Adventures in the Nether World. Uh, a lot of the Nether World. That's what they call it. Isn't it Nether? 
I think they call I don't know they, they call, call it neither, neither, world? neither or neither world. they might call it neither world well to be honest I mean it's, it's like Tim Burton like like fake dark goofiness so I get it yeah um, and here's the thing so we watched that first movie and this morning and I was like you know that was like a that was like a like a you know, above average movie but it wasn't mm-hmm. great why does everyone love this movie like it's not like it's only like it's more than okay but it's not absolutely phenomenal why is it that people they, everyone fucking loves this movie and then you just said well it's Tim Burton yep. yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, like, oh, okay. it's got style it's got style and it's funny but you know what like to, to be fair like when was that movie made 88 oh, it came out in 88 I think like it still held up yeah, like, other than like yeah. the terrible like CG for like the sandworm and stuff mm-hmm. you know like, it wasn't CG. It was stop motion. Whatever. It was animatronic. Some yeah. some of the terrible effects mm-hmm. that are present in all old movies. That was still funny. Like yeah. like the, 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 it stood the test of time. Yep. I even I remember remarking like halfway through the movie. I was like, listen, even though this takes place in the eighties, yeah, the, the character archetypes are the exact same. Yeah, they're still like goth kids who are kind of like disaffected and they're not like they're like distant from their parents and there's like you know the yuppie parents who don't there's know what's always, going on. Yeah, the art, the, the, the art, like, the like, art hose. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're more explicitly political now than they were back then. Mm-hmm. Or maybe we were just we were just young and stupid back then. But the point is, like, the same characters exist maybe. today in like slightly different forms. Yeah, they're still around. They do. They um, do. So yeah, like as you said earlier, I don't think the cartoon shows canon to this because in this movie, no, Lydia didn't. is now an adult. She yeah. has a daughter of her, of her own. She is a world famous spirit medium running a but, TV show where she like looks into ghost houses. And um, yeah, and they make it look like she fakes it, but, but it, she turns out, it turns out that it's actually like. To her, it's actually real. Yeah, but um, I think. Do you get the feeling that they they they, they probably manipulated the show? Maybe. Oh yeah. Make, her, make it look more realistic. For of course her, they for did. Yeah. 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 And then she's got this manager, who's Justin Thoreau, who uh, the slimiest guy, fuck. <laughs> he's this guy. He's this actor that's in so many movies, but he's in. He's one of these guys that that like he's not really a standout enough. Like he he he's just. Kind of a douchebag, but not really hateable. It's pretty he hateable got, in this he movie. He kind of made himself hateable in this one. Yeah. He's definitely more. <laughs> unli- he's very unlikable in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's, he's 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 not. I don't know. He if he's, played it, he played his character perfectly. Yeah, he, he's a good actor. <laughs> um, he he has been a bunch of stuff. But I, I don't know. I I find he's one of those people that he always just flies under my radar, and, and it sucks because he's actually pretty good at what he does. Yep. Yeah. So in this movie, um, yeah. As you said, his manager is like the kind of the sleaze ball, who, and, and he's yeah. he's very clearly trying to do like like the fake empathetic thing. Yeah, he's like, oh, I understand your pain. Yeah, he's give so me your money. And, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, yeah, the daughter doesn't trust him at all, and but the mom comes back. The stepmom is back. Yes, yeah, and she is amazing in everything she does. Yeah, yeah, she she's pretty funny again. Um, yeah. But no, so 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 the so so Lydia's. Stepmom breaks the news that child molester dad has died. Died in a plane crash in apparently another realm where everything's been made of stop motion. <laughs> yeah, because they because they're not gonna get the actor back because they could. Yeah, no, no, they probably could, but they're not gonna. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know they didn't want to get. Uh, so they stop motion his face, which yeah. is kind of funny. Um, it would be also, more funny if it was only his face that they stopped motion. <laughs> <laughs> like he survived the plane crash in the Pacific, fun. and then he didn't drown, and he got ate, ate by a shark. Yeah, yeah, he got bitten. He got like his head and shoulders bitten off by yeah. a shark, which is, yeah. which is why he has no head when he's in the in the yeah, yeah. They, they, they made um, it so they could just you know fudge around it. It's it's actually funny. It was pretty funny. Uh, okay, and then at the same time, Lydia has a daughter. Yep. And yep. Lydia's daughter is just it's Lydia Wednesday. from the first movie. It's Wednesday. Yeah, it's it's general. It's the same same actor as, the, as Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, Wednesday, I yeah. mean, like, yeah, but like uh, having oh. having watched Wednesday, she uh, like it's she has much more emotion than Wednesday does. Like, she's just oh, a yeah. goth kid. Yeah, who's Wednesday's like not to have who much. who like she she I feel like she veers a bit more punk than goth. Yeah, yeah. But like, of, like she's yeah. not as goth as Lydia is. Yeah, well, I will say though. Like um, I will I will just say real quick though that like. If you had to make this movie in this era with the current crop of young actors, she was pretty much the number one pick. Oh yeah, hundred percent. It was, like, was going to be as, her. Like as yeah. soon as I saw the trailer, like and I saw Jenna Ortega's face, I'm like, yep, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like even, 10 even years even, ago, would probably e- Haley Steinfeld. Even if it was like a remake, you'd be like, no, that's Lydia. Yep. That, that's just that's oh, just yeah, who she 100%. is. And that, which yep. is also this, for the same reason why she was cast as Wednesday. Yep. In the Adams Family, yep. thing. Yeah. because 
That's she's, she's got the vibe. She, she just has that look. Oh, listen, she did really fucking well on Wednesday, so the, mm-hmm. the show itself wasn't great, but she was amazing as Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. She, she looks like the, the kind of person who would be, be yeah. in those roles, you know? Yeah. L- l- like, the, the next crop of Tim Burton crazy, you know, kind oh, of Oh, yeah, the repeat, the repeat yeah. offenders. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely a Winona Ryder, definitely. Uh, Helena Bonham Carter, whatever her name is. Helena Bonham Carter was yeah. married to Tim Burton. Yeah, that's why she's as well as well. Yeah, but she, yeah, but she, I think they met on one of the movies. Yeah, but she did a shit ton of those roles for him. Yeah, she did, yeah. And they she, were married. No, 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 no. no. But it, it was it was just, always it was always the same off. it was always the same character though in each one of them, and it was just yeah. like crazy kind of gothic chick. Yeah. yeah, and it was every single one that she was in. Tim Burton just wishes he was uh, like. A London urchin that became a filmmaker. Yeah, maybe. He really does. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so obviously she would be in this. Yeah. Um, they got back a bunch of the original cast. Yeah, I was actually pretty impressed yep. with how, much yeah. they got, how many they got back. Yep. And I mean, like, was this one of those, you know, soulless remakes, remasters, reboots, recontinuations where they're like, no. let's yeah. bring it back for modern audiences. Here, here's a property that we remember. Just bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah, funnily enough. This uh, guy had some soul to it. The theater, yeah. the theater had a bunch of people that would have been in their teens to 20s when they would have they would have watched us in theaters so now they like picture people in their 50s and 60s oh yeah there's like there's older people there, but also like in front of us there was a bunch of young kids yeah and they're, they're, they're yeah, young, these girls are like young girls. 15 the rest of them are like old people oh were they? yeah, yeah. Like, no, cause they were, they were, there was only two young girls okay. they were just they were, very loud and annoying there were two <laughs> like 15 year old girls and yeah. beside them were like two guys though that were around, around their age I thought the four, the four of them were together when no, the, the lights no, there's, turned there's on, a dad. that that, a dad. that was a dad. He was a like dad. had a big belly and a huge fucking like. Mug. Okay. Mug. Yeah. Mug. He was very gray. <laughs> was Fair enough. No, I, I, I was, I was dad, dad takes so dad who would have been you know the right age to watch that movie the movie, original movie brings his kid and her friends. I mean, the girls were commenting a bit, and, like, they knew the characters and stuff, so... But that's just it. Well, yeah. That's why the first one's timeless, because yeah. it appealed to so many young women. Yeah, and, well, well, here's the thing, right? Like, you could take, you know, an appropriate 15-year-old and show them the old movie, and they'd enjoy it today. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. it still yeah. has some good qualities to it. It's yeah. not like it's a... Yeah. So, yeah. um... Yeah, in the second movie, I mean, the base... The, it's... It's almost structured very. It's very similarly in the first half. It's very. It, it's structured almost the I'm same in the first half. Pretty sure that's the point. Yeah, it's the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, where we're like, yeah, the, the, you know, shot for shot, the intro's the same, and then it, the the, uh, the the father dies, so they go back to the old house to sell it and mm-hmm. to like you know have have the funeral, clear all the stuff out, and like, it's in, in the um in the first movie everyone's moving in, but in this one they're moving out. Yeah, yeah they're, they're moving. But, moving but it's like on. it's it's clearly like they're they're mirroring what happened. They're in the parallel. First movie. Yeah, yeah. Um. But then it's but then the second, the second half of the, of the movies were kind of it's different. It went off the rails, in yeah. my opinion. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> because I, I forget the name of the do- is it Astrid? Astrid. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, the Lydia's daughter Astrid mm-hmm. bumps into a um, like she's like my family fucking sucks. Yeah. I'm gonna go wander around this shitty small town. Well, well, yeah, there's a very good reason. That was probably the cringiest moment mm-hmm. of that movie and of a lot of movies I've ever seen. The the manager boyfriend proposing oh, God. during a speech about everyone being there for this wake and, yeah. and this, and this the funeral wake. and everything he hijacks it and Asher calls him out and fucks off on the bi- on a bike just yeah. to go around the town because yeah. she's like I can't like, yeah. deal with this. Imagine going, getting proposed at a wake I at a funeral. Wish that I wasn't even in the theater to see that scene. That was so yeah, it was pretty bad. It was, pretty it was bad. so bad. Wait, it, not both badly acted. Just just. Secondhand embarrassment. Speaking of being in the theater, who who was that one like dude who was sounds like he was fucking dying? That was the dad, probably. Actually, no, it wasn't. That was that was, that was like the, the old. The guy. It, was, it was one row and then guy. way down that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy. He was like, and I was yeah. like, holy so shit! I heard, oh, fuck. <laughs> and then look at each other like yeah, started like, laughing. <laughs> I'll go for you. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's just it. This is the kind of movie that brings people together. Oh, does it? Yeah. yeah many yeah. Gif- all these different generations can come together. Mm-hmm. And some some people are young and energetic, and others are literally dying in their seats, <laughs> dying in the theater. <laughs> Ma- dude, imagine like like your last fucking moment is watching a movie in a movie theater, and you just like die. Imagine what, what a way to go out. Dude, imagine it's Beetlejuice. <laughs> it's about death. Uh, it's Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice well, okay, Beetlejuice. fine, but it's a, it's a Beetlejuice so, property. Ma- yeah, no, there are some good laughs in this movie for sure. Oh yeah, yeah I, I, actually, okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, we were watching the first one this morning. Mm-hmm. I did. I very rarely spit take out a laughter. Oh God! <laughs> but, 
There was a joke early I in the first movie. I don't even fucking remember what I don't remember what it was. It what funny. scene was it? I, was, I, for, I forget. It was very early in the movie. But I was like, I was drinking coffee because we, like, we were having it during breakfast. So I was drinking coffee. And I fucking spit the entire coffee onto Naomi. It was That's sitting. what I was hearing. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. right. You're like, oh my God. And you're just like, here, don't worry about it. I'm just going to go, I'm going to go clean up. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I was like, I don't usually spit take like that, but it was like a fucking. It was big... not a funny joke either. Like I remember just kind of looking at you and being like, "Really?" <laughs> I thought it was funny. It was that funny. It was, it, I obviously thought it was, it was funny. It was probably something in the waiting room because there's a lot of psych guys. No, no, it, no, it was in early. The waiting no, room. Really, like, it was like, no, it was super early into the fucking. It was movie. in the first ten minutes. I, it it might have been before the couple died. No, no, no. Movie. It was. Well, I, they died like, pretty quickly. Like, I think it's... soon after. Yeah. No, they hadn't like met Beetlejuice yet, obviously. No. No. I, don't, I don't think they had gone to the afterlife. Yet. I don't remember what it was. They yeah. definitely had not gone to the afterlife yet. All right, whatever. It was, it was very fine. early. Yeah. All right, moving on. I was on. like, oh my god, didn't okay. he just cover you in coffee? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, yeah, that, that's that, that actually sounds like something out of Beetlejuice itself. Um, yes. Yeah. So she fucks off and she uh, ends up almost dying like ten times. <laughs> trying to dodge, like, dodge trucks. Dodge trucks. And, I mean, she goes out without a helmet or Dude, anything. Dude, that too. that small town felt like our small town where we came from. Oh, I felt it. I felt it. I Holy felt fuck. It. Yeah, so she ends up... Naomi's, Naomi's born to see. doesn't know the fucking trials. So she, she doesn't get it. <laughs> she she busts through a fence and this guy's up at a tree house and they're about the same age and... She's a sparse she's and amour and oh Dostoevsky and crime and It was like a very, like, childhood movie, you know? Like, oh, I met, I met him, yeah. and he's so cute, that and he's just like me. was so rushed and hackneyed, it didn't have to be in the entire movie. I mean, yeah, but how well, else would they, they had to get her into that position yeah. for later. Yeah. 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 Like, well, I, I will I say that, like, this felt like a kid's movie. It didn't actually... It was really funny is that a lot of a lot of times when there's like sequel like like this late after the original, it feels a lot like nostalgia bait. Generally, even if it is a good movie, like it feels like it's geared more towards adults. This actually yep. felt like a children's movie. Like mm-hmm. I think the fir- I looked it up because Devin didn't believe me. The first one is rated PG, and this one's rated PG thirteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, so enough. like to th- the guts and gore. Yeah. Like yeah, this. Probably. This legitimately yeah. feels like our children's. You know, PG thirteen is kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't yeah. Argue with I me. mean, they, <laughs> dude, they made a cartoon show for for eight year olds. Listen, yeah. they made a cartoon show of Robocop, but that wasn't M rated. They, they made a cartoon show of Terminator. Like that just fiction doesn't matter, man. Like <laughs> still... back in the eighties, they didn't give a fuck. Yeah, Speaking of which, we saw a trailer for a cartoon show of Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah. Or a movie? I don't know if it was a Cartoon, movie or a show. Cartoon it's movie, anime. It's anime. It's, it's yeah. by a, a director, and I was like, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't remember what this guy's yeah. done. But uh, but anyway, we also, yeah, we also, we also saw, saw a trailer for the fucking um, the the, the backstory Modern of Rome. No, 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 no. oh right. <laughs> Saturday night, Saturday night, oh, Saturday night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. looked that looked cool too. No, no, I definitely, I'm, I'm definitely gonna see that. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna see that kind of stuff. But um, no, no, what I'm thinking of is the backstory of the fucking witch from Wizard of Oz. Okay, okay. Dude, that but, book came out decades ago. Yeah, I know, Devin I get it. Stop. But, Devin does not know what the musical Wicked is. Don't you put words in my mouth. You don't, do you? No. You, exactly. See. <laughs> Keep going, though. What else? I just said that you, Devin does not know what the musical Wicked is. Yes, I so? was trying to explain to you in the theater, and you kept correcting me from Wicked to Wizard of Oz. Wicked it's a, it's a fucking loud theater, Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this guy this guy wrote a book, basically fanfic, that, that was actually a pretty good book. Yeah. yeah. It got made into a Broadway musical. Yeah, it did. It's very famous. Like, Fine. maybe very famous. a few years after the book came okay, out. Okay, hold, on, like hold on. Are they making that movie canon to the original Wizard of Oz? No. No, I okay. assume it's, it's a, just a movie yeah, of Wicked. There's okay, four books in that series. No, I know. I know. And there's been... There, there's also more... Um, more movies of Wizard of Oz than just like the fucking one that everyone knows with Miss Meth Head. No, 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 okay? no. There's four books in the Wicked series. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's there's dozens yeah. of Oz Listen. books. No, no, fine, fine. What I'm saying mm-hmm. is it's probably going to be one of those things where they're like, oh my god, she was actually not the villain after all. I, I, you know, and I, now we're going to tie it into the original to ruin no, everything. No, it's no, literally they don't. just a fuck. Okay, we're going to watch Wicked. Fine. Like With not the not the movie. No, we're just gonna fucking find the Broadway musical online somewhere, and we're just gonna watch it, and you're just gonna see because I haven't seen it in too. years, sure, sure. many years. I don't actually remember okay, the plot on. at all. Uh, back really? to Beetlejuice because yes. now we're going down eighteen yeah, yeah, rabbit holes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's all okay. fault. So yeah, yeah. So so basically, she starts like hanging out with this boy, and he's really cute, yeah. and it's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. and then she. 
basically he convinces her. He's like, listen, I am a ghost. Did you know that? Well, float- I mean, they floated. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm, yeah. Trying, I'm trying to skip through this. We've been here for half an hour. I'm trying to skip through this, guy. Okay? So, I, w- wait, what? Nothing. Oh, yeah. I'm a ghost. Mm-hmm. I can help you. I, and you can help no. me find a way to come so back he, to life. So he basically says, like, I'm a ghost. And you can probably see me because your mom is a famous uh, um, spirit medium. And so you're probably one, too. And so here. But I'm going to use some, some ghost bullshit so you can go see your dad. Your dead dad. And she's like, oh. So she says an incantation from the book. It's the same book as from the first movie because yeah, everyone gets one. The in handbook, the yeah. The recently departed or yeah. deceased. And then they, and like, they, all the rules are the same. So you have to draw in the chalk the door, and then it opens up and opens the same way with the bricks coming out, and they go to the afterlife. Imagine how many kids with chalk get fucked over like that. Yeah, I'm probably trying it out. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it you know, it turns out that she actually got completely duped because this kid um, was, was evil. Serial was, killer. He was evil. Not a serial killer. Well, he was... No, actually, I think he wanted to be, but... They Maybe he wanted to be, They yeah. didn't build on... He killed his parents. That's yeah. why they never show... They go in the house, and, and they only show the backs of their heads. Yeah. And he's like, well, my dad... You know, my mom was in the kitchen all day, and my dad got laid off uh, by the paper mill, which was like, oh, that sounds like... Yeah, I looked at <laughs> both. Like, uh, I, I don't think mm. either one of you saw me, but I looked at both of you when they said that. Oh, I... I, I no, I, I almost... I almost looked over, and I'm like, yeah, whatever, fine. Mm. Just so... Gonna, yeah, so uh, he tale. he killed his parents, and he fell out of the, tr- the tree house when the, when the cops came to get him. He died, breaking yep. his neck. Yep. He wants to get his life back, so he actually tricked her into exchanging lives. So yep. she now has to be yep. dead, even though she's not yep. dead, and he, he gets to come back. Okay. Brings her over to the uh, immigration the immigration office queue. in the afterlife. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Which I don't, um, I don't remember. Meanwhile, the first one, but that's just no, it's not. It's no, not. It's not. L- Lydia is like, okay, we gotta fucking. I, I gotta fucking solve this somehow. So she summons Beetlejuice, mm-hmm. yeah. and Beetlejuice is like, I've been wanting to fuck you for like forty years, mm-hmm. and then Lydia's like, listen, okay, fine, I'll marry you. I know you wanted to marry me when I was when I was young, so I'll marry you, but in return, you need to help me get my daughter back. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so they both go to the afterlife. Um, however. There's also, there's there's this side plot that doesn't really go anywhere, I think. Yeah, I was a little disappointed with how that ended. Yeah, but there's, oh. a, there's a side plot in, in the afterlife <laughs> yeah. where Beetlejuice's first wife, mm-hmm. who was In just, real life. Who, <laughs> in, 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 in the alive times, in the medieval times, yeah. during the play. Well, no, because here's the thing. like, It, 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 it was a, a throwaway joke in the first movie. He pulls out like a finger and pulls the ring off and is like, she didn't mean anything to me. Throws the finger away. And yeah. then puts it on Lydia's, like, yeah, like yeah. in the first movie, like so that became a, a whole story in this, where yeah. there's actually a dismembered wife of his, who she like rebuilds herself by stapling herself together, yeah. and she for some reason is a soul sucker. Yeah, so they she never explained well, no, it. But, no, yes, they did. It's because well, she's she a head of a soul sucking cult. Yeah, yeah. so That's she not much sucks of an souls, and well, they explained it. That was still an explanation. Yeah. I didn't say it was good. Well, it's exposition. <laughs> it's not a good explanation. So. She goes around like she she's basically haunting through the movie, looking through looking for Beetlejuice. Whenever she encounters a character, yeah. she just like grabs him and just like sucks his soul out. And he just turns into like a skin. She's like, she killed, she had, she like, killed Dan Danny DeVito. DeVito. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> zombie Danny DeVito. Yep. <laughs> and Bob. And so she's she's like Brit Bob. You know. She, her her parts in the movie are kind of like from the, until the very end. She's They're, just hot. She's wandering around yeah. being a hot zombie. Yeah, yeah. That's why I. That's but, why I said like the whole the 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 the, the cute boy, and they should have had other one of these subplots. Yeah, both it felt weird to meant, have both. Yeah, it yeah. felt clunky. It yeah. felt overburdened. Yeah. Well, in, in any case, though, like she, her her parts are completely disjointed from the rest of the movie until the very end mm-hmm. in the climax. But basically, we cut back to her every few scenes mm-hmm. where she encounters another character and then just like. Interrogates them for about where Beetlejuice is, and then she just eats them, and then she yeah. moves on. It's like okay, yeah. all right. Like it's it, I moment, feel yeah. like th- what they should have done was have the boy try and marry Astrid, like the the psycho kid who mm-hmm. murdered his parents, try and marry Astrid the same way that Beetlejuice tried to marry Lydia, but then Lydia saved her, you know, but then had to try and marry Beetlejuice, and then some other shenanigans happened, so that didn't happen. Yeah. I don't know what the shenanigans would have been, but maybe they felt like that was copying the first movie too, too much, much. Yeah. so they didn't do it, but I probably would have preferred that. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Well, in any case... I'm up in the um, air. But anyway, it was, there was too many side plots. Yeah. yeah that's, that's just it. Honestly, there was, there was like one too many side plots. Yeah, it was only just, one too just many. cut one out. Yeah. Movie. Like, okay. like, the ex-wife didn't have to be there. It could have been... It could have been... Honestly, it could have been anything else. Yeah. 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 It, it could have just been the fucking... Fucking William Defoe. Uh, as the police. <laughs> oh, yeah. As, as, <laughs> the, as the underworld producer. As the, as the method actor, detective actor who gets killed 
because he does his own stunts. By the and way, then he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm a cop. I'm a cop now in the afterlife. Yeah. Did you notice that his secretary was very clearly like, like a domestic abuse victim? Yep. She had like she was really hot, and she was like clearly a homebody, mm-hmm. and she had like like a bruised eye and a gunshot. Yep. And she was always serving coffee. Yep. Yeah. That was <laughs> so, like, kind of depressing. I think it was. Well, hot. everybody's dead. I, yeah. This, this, <laughs> They're she, all she depressing. Was what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. So <laughs> it's also I mean, an incinerated Santa Claus, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> fun. Fire Santa Claus. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Okay. So anyway, anyway. Basically, what's driving the movie is that by the second half, Astrid is improperly dead and yep. shouldn't be, and the boy's taken her spot, yep. and they have to go and, and and Lydia and Beetle just go to try to save her. And in in the afterlife, in the afterlife, yeah. and there's hijinks, and they eventually find her. They find they, they discover that like the the father is working as the biological immigration father, officer. father an, his immigration officer. Yeah, yeah. Astrid's dad. Yeah, yeah, he's like fish sticking at him because I think I think he died but in the, he got, the Amazon he, River. Yeah, he yeah. got yeah, the piranhas. Yeah, yeah. He got, he, yeah he, so he some that's he why they couldn't in the find Amazon. his body for because yeah. after the surgery for a week, yeah, yeah the piranhas the ate, ate him. Yeah. Part of his body. There's like bites all out of him and everything. Yeah. He's in the movie for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that felt super rushed and I felt kind of bad. He was just like, oh, okay. Especially with the throwaway line that Lydia said earlier that it was just like, oh, well, our relationship was over before, before the accident. Yeah. And I was just like... I love your it, father, but the relationship was over. Like, okay, so here's the thing. Yeah, but it felt weird that they like bonded because yeah. of the dad. Like, I feel like that... Yeah. I feel like that one line shouldn't have been in there. Honestly, it felt like the second half of the movie went through a lot of extra rewrites and yeah. changed things because yeah. in the first half of the movie, they're setting up for the dad not to actually be dead. Yeah, because they say Because they're like, I can't... I can see every ghost, but I can't see your dad. They never found the body. Mm-hmm. It's like, no... The dad's alive, obviously. Yep. Yeah. The, the, the movie's signaling that the dad is alive and he's going to yeah. show up sometime, like, but he shows up as dead. It's like, oh, okay. And, and, oh, and, well, that could oh. have been the shenaniganery interrupting the wedding. Yeah. There we His go. dad coming See, back. Yep. I can write a plot. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> this could have been just a slightly better movie. They just change a few, change a few things yeah. in the second half. Yeah. But, like, it's still good. It's still, it's still a good movie. You know, yeah. what, you know what? You know what one of the best parts was, if not the best part? Hmm? The musical number. <laughs> oh, yeah, at the end? Yeah. Holy well, hold on. Let's, shit. Let, let's, that's, where they, they did, that's where they blew the budget. Yeah, it, <laughs> is. it is. So let, let's, let's, let, let's, let's speed run our way there, then. So basically, um, through shenanigans... We return to the world of the living yep. and Into the church, and yeah, they come out of a crypt, so they're they're near the church. Yeah, and she's like, the daughter says to the mother, "Oh my God, I'm sorry, I doubted your magic powers because now I have them too, and I believe." Yeah, I'm so sorry, and I'm like, this, the whole, feels, no, yeah. this doesn't even the whole, feel like, very authentic. No, it doesn't, and honestly, like they, they tried to give her like. They tried to do the conflict of the very the very rational scientific person doesn't believe in in spirituality. Yeah, but they, they and they just completely fell flat. They had like yeah. two lines and it didn't yeah, go anywhere. No. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Rushed. Yep. So then, but but they, they they come out in the in the um they come in the crypt the church they're going to the we- the wedding the yeah, wedding yeah, with, because, with Rory the douchebag yeah because someone. Lydia's still getting married yeah. to that uh you know the, the manager, easy manager. Yeah. And then Beatrice shows up and is like, hold on. <laughs> you, you agreed uh, to marry me, marry. contract. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then you have like a 15 minute extended fucking musical sequence. Of, uh, was, it, was, it, was it called Gosford Park? I don't, I don't recall. I remember, I didn't even I don't remember the song. song name. I just know it was about cake and rain. <laughs> you, I recognize the song. You know why? I re- you know how I recognized it mm-hmm. originally? It was because there's an episode of The Simpsons with a talent show. And it's, I don't think it's Apu's. It's not Apu's daughter because he doesn't have a kids yet. It's Apu's brother's, yeah, his Apu's niece, and she's playing. I think she's playing sitar. She's singing the song, and I'll never know the recipe again. And everyone that the else above, like all the non-Indian people, are just going, like, "Oh my god, this sucks." That's the song. Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't remember that, but no, <gasps> sorry. Um, okay, but real quick. So basically, Beetlejuice interrupts and says, "Hold on, you're fucking marrying me." Yeah. Lydia, and then after there's a there's the big long musical sequence which you guys like. That wasn't even okay for me, but you guys liked it until it was really funny. It was only okay for me. Um, and then at the end of that, MacArthur Park. Is at the end of that, um, Beetlejuice's first wife shows up mm-hmm. and is like, "I'm going to fucking suck your soul out, you asshole! You left me, you left me like for four years or whatever the fuck it was." So like six hundred, six hundred. So basically, she shows up, and Beetlejuice is like, "Oh shit, dude," um, and. Basically, there's like a big fight. Also, Willem Dafoe shows up with all of his cops, trying yeah. to re- trying to arrest everyone. I thought I, at first they're gonna have the super troopers. At, my you know, theory, the my theory is that the cops were the football kids oh, from, from the, the first, first movie. movie. The yes. Football kids. Oh, I, what do you I, mean? 
there was a the whole boss that goes off. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god. The, the, yeah, the football kids turn into cops. I'm pretty sure that's not true, but I want well, it to be. Yeah, because <laughs> in the in, in in the afterlife, you can't really age. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I th- they're probably just like dead police officers. No, to be yes, honest. cameos from the. Oh, 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 as an actor. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think actually the characters. No. Are the I don't fucking know. <laughs> guys, guys. You know who sang that song? Yeah. Richard Harris. Who's that? The guy played Dumbledore. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so anyway, anyway. Um, ex-wife to- shows up. Yeah, ex-wife battle. shows up. Yeah. Big battle. Um, and then oh, Astrid so manages to sneak battle. away, gets the gets the book, mm-hmm. and then yeah. draws on the a hatch mm-hmm. on the floor, yeah. summons the sandworm, who just eats both of the... Yeah, takes care takes care of two subplots in one fell swoop. Yeah, because yeah. the ex-wife Cause... is eaten, and then Lydia's, like, husband-to-be she doesn't really want to marry mm-hmm. is eaten. Yeah. yeah. So let's just let's just tie everything up in yep. one, one nice big bow. And then yeah. it's like, well, everything's solved. Yep. Everything's the everything's movie's done. Good. Uh, the so mother. The, oh, 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 the stepmom dead. died. Yeah, she, yeah. She, yeah another, she's another side plot. The stepmom died. I want to do this 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 ceremony with asps because that's part of the Egyptian history and and Step they're defanged. Died. It's totally fine. They weren't. They were not defanged. They were not she defanged. Died. Asps. Okay. She got a poison. So they just want to write yeah. her out. They just want to kill her off. Well, I mean, they killed her. She was her. still in the movie like half an hour after yeah, that. Yeah, no, like, no, see, she they, was. Yeah, she they didn't, like, the kill end. her off. They killed her to put her in the afterlife. And her and uh, yeah. the dad. Charles. The, the, the grandfather at this point. Yeah. Lydia's dad met yep. back up. And even though soul trained to the Even though he, he's missing a head. Yeah. And shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And for me, that should have been the end of the movie. Yep. Well, but it continues. But it was though, cause, because ending on them, it should have ended on Lydia and... Her daughter. Yeah, no, 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 because... no, I know. Like that could have been in, like an after credit sequence, but like for me, that was the end of the movie. It yeah. should have been an end. Yeah, everything. But then it kept like, going. Oh, it was a dream. The, no, dream. okay, no. Listen, you no, want... there's like an extra two minutes, and it's really weird. If there's an extra two minutes, and it feels like they're setting up for they are. a, a third movie. A third they are setting movie. up for a sequel, and I guarantee and by now that they've already made enough money. That is the only part of the movie I don't like. Yeah. Because that's just it, that is mm-hmm. the only part of the movie that felt like it was just like a cash Packed grab, on. nostalgia yep, yep, beta. Yep, oh, yep, we're gonna yep. do more. Aren't we're gonna do more. And I was like, no. The extended universe. Okay, so the final two minutes, basically, Lydia's like. Everything got wrapped up nicely. Let's go on with our lives, and then they do, and then they go on a vacation, and then yeah. um, Astrid falls in love, like, like meets a guy, falls yeah. in love with love a guy. At first gets, sight, yep, they get married. She has a kid, and except the, the kid, except, kid except, the, except the kid is the fucking Beetlejuice's baby inner child. Is, is a baby Beetlejuice. Yeah, so it, that, like, it, that, like it rockets is. out of her vagina, then like, cli- like kills the fucking doctors, climbs around the room, yep. and then like Lydia wakes up and is like. What a terrible dream. And then Beetlejuice is beside her in bed. It's no, like, no. <laughs> she wakes up. Beetlejuice wakes up beside her in bed and he's like, oh, that was a fucked up dream. Well, he didn't actually, I don't think I don't, he said no, fucked up no, dream, no, but it was a real fucking dream. dream or something. Well, because it's, yeah, they're saying it's for one of those movie. tropes that they're keeps setting going up for on and on and yeah. on. And there's like shows like, um. Yeah, but like oh, then God, she, but then like that, that moment passes and then she's alone in the bed and she just kind of stares and then the movie actually ends and I'm just like. That's a bad ending. Why? Why would you? Do? Why, because why they're setting up for a third movie. Yeah. That's why. But it's like, just, there's, what? There, there could have been way better. But than honestly, so, like, I'm a little confused. Like, what's there to be set up there that she's still just gonna be haunted by Beetlejuice, the, 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 or, or did they actually get married? They're, they're gonna be married, and like Beetlejuice, you know, here, third movie is gonna be like Beetlejuice is in the real world as a dad and is like parenting. <laughs> parenting oh, Astrid. Please <laughs> okay, hold on, Mr. Okay. Mom. <laughs> Here's how it should have ended. Okay, so what I said. But, let me just hear him. So after everything wraps up, okay. And by the way, we didn't see, we didn't stay to see if there was an after credit scene. Maybe there was. I don't care. But I mean, we stayed long enough that there yeah. probably would have been an after credit scene. That's fine. We, not usually so kind of movie everything wraps up. They have like a nice short, you know, like mother daughter moment. You know, everyone moves on. Credits roll. After the credits, that's where you put. The, oh, the afterlife. The, scene the, the, the afterlife scene where where the grandma meets up with with the guy with the no head who's yeah. a pedophile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> meets up with him. Yeah, actors are pedophile. And then like and, and they and they reunite and they get on the soul train to to, to, to go to the great beyond. Yeah. Like. That should have been the after credit scene. Yes, that should have been the after credit scene if there had been, if there was yeah. an after credit yeah. scene. It's so like it was, and they showed Beetlejuice was... on a bench reading a newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like it was, it was a good movie, but it really feels like it went through some rewrites and some yeah. th- some things didn't really fit together, and like there yeah. were some problems with it. It's, like, it's, it's disjointed. For honestly, sure. it's just the curse of sequels. It is never as good as the first movie. Yeah. And yeah. I do not count the last two minutes because it was garbage. Yep. So everything but the last two minutes was great. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It is like if you like the first movie, give it a watch. 
Yeah. Give, give it a watch. It's still enjoyable. It was yeah. an enjoyable experience. It was yeah. a good popcorn flick. Yeah. <laughs> and we love popcorn. <laughs> we actually didn't. Wait, give, give it back. <laughs> We actually forgot to talk about something. Listen, real quick. Um, the, how how is it that the uh, the serial killer wannabe kid end up dying? Like, how how do you get his comeuppance? Beetlejuice pulled the lever, said uh, "Born with our kid" or some bullshit like that, and a gateway to like a trapdoor to hell opened up, and the kid just burned up. That yep. was it. That's it. Yeah, it, he he was resolved in like thirty seconds. Yep. Which yep. is why I still think this went through some really bad rewrites. Things d- didn't really fit together. Like yep. there were some problems with the movie for sure. No, still a good movie. Still watch it. Yeah. Good night. <laughs>